In this next video will show you how to create your own RSS or your own widget uh, based on content from any website that you like. Um, it requires that you have Safari installed, so uh, all Macs come with Safari. Um, and it's going to integrate into the dashboard so much, which we've seen earlier. What's one of the main reasons why I'd actually want a widget like this? Uh, a widget would allow me to get content uh, I'm, rather than pulling for information, so rather than me going to the website and looking for new news or new information, then I will uh, rather it be pushed to me uh, in the form of a widget or an RSS feed. So the same benefits that we've seen uh, RSS feeds have, uh, so would a widget uh, like this. Uh, one site that I visit on a regular basis, and I'd rather not have to go there uh, because I have to search for my city and do all that stuff, is, is the weather network. So if I go to weather.ca, uh, to find my city, I mean, I'm not in one of these uh, populated areas, so I need to uh, find my location. So there's Brantford. And then I need to go through uh, the site and find I mean, what is the information I'm looking for. Is it just that I want to know what it is currently? Do I want a short-term sort of 24-hour forecast? Or would I be looking more for a, a long-term forecast? Uh, I mean, that's one simple example. It could be any website that you know doesn't have a widget uh, or an RSS feed, and you want to actually create something like that. Um, so I don't know that uh, there is a widget that exists for the long-term forecast, at least not in the format that I like to see it, which is like I see on the site here. Uh, so I'm going to create my own widget. And it's very simple to do so. Uh, in Safari, I just have to hit File, and I'll hit Open in Dashboard. And then I get um, this menu pop-up. You can see the purple bar across the top. And basically, certain areas of my screen are selectable. So I'm going to highlight the area of the screen that I want. In this case, I want the long-term forecast. Uh, and once I've selected the amount of information I, I want, notice as I move my cursor around, I get less or more information. So maybe I want to include the date, maybe I don't. Uh, this would kind of be useless to me. I don't know what day that forecast is for. So obviously, I'd like to expand that a little further. Uh, maybe I want it to uh, include when it was uh, updated as well. So I'm going to uh, broaden that. Once I'm happy with it, I just click. And then you'll notice that I get some adjusting blocks. So I can just move these little blobs down to adjust, uh, just to make it a little tighter. And maybe I don't really care about these other things, the historical information. It's a link anyways. It would force me to get out of the widget. So that seems to be pretty good. And then once I'm happy with that, I just have to hit Add. And you'll notice that I have this new widget added to my dashboard. Now it's loading information. Again, it's coming from the website. Uh, and you can see that here is the long-term forecast. So this is a widget that never existed before. I just created my own widget. Uh, this now will update on a daily basis. Or, I mean, whenever they update the long-term forecast, this will get updated. So once I click off my dashboard, if I uh, get out of this website, again, I can just load my dashboard. And here is long-term forecast. Uh, and if I... Uh, wanted to see this tomorrow, you'll notice that I mean, one day will push off, so Saturday I'll push off, and then I will see Wednesday come in as well. So this is a dynamic uh, widget, and it will give me information, much like I've noticed with my RSS feed uh, TED Talks widget. Um, to give you another example, we could go to uh, another website, and I'll go to News. And maybe I want to know sort of what are the top stories, so maybe I'll do that here. So here are the top stories of today. Um, all I need to do again is go to File. And I can go to Open in Dashboard. And then maybe I just want the top left-hand story. So I can just select that. And I can click Add. And now I'll have a widget of the top story on Google, or on Google News. And as these stories change, uh, I will be updated. So I just go back to my dashboard and then the, the latest clip will go in here. So this is a handy way for you to see I mean, what is the top news story, uh, how do I create a widget for any website that has dynamic content.